Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to look at how to use the stack widgets and then the expanded widget in Flutter. I already have some boilerplate here, and then I'm in my scaffold here with this app uh, layout and expanded widget, which is here, and nothing else except this container. So for the body of my scaffold, instead of returning a container, I would want to return a stack widget. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to stack. And then this stack will takes a list of children. And then when I'm going to put another widget in this stack called the flex. So the flex takes a list of widgets for its children. The ends there are put the expanded widget. This expanded widget takes a flex. Now put one there for now. I'll explain it later. And then a child. And for the child, I'm going to put a container there. I'm going to give this container a color of colors. Red. The flex widget also takes another property direction. I'm going to use axis dot vertical. Now you can see how my whole screen has become red. So you'll be asking what the sense of using this expanded widget if you can just use a normal scaffold and paint it. Well, that's because it's actually just the only thing I have in my flex widget right now. So let me just copy this and then duplicate my expanded widget. So I'm gonna duplicate it and you'll be saying, wow, still nothing happened. So what's the sense of this? Well, these two colors of the expanded widgets are the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this one's color to blue. My screen has been divided into two. This screen has been divided into two in equal proportion because this expanded widget takes a flex of one and then the second one also takes one. So First, you notice something like if I change the flex property of one of them to be bigger than the other, the one with the bigger one will actually take a bigger space on the screen. So I'm going to change the second one to say three. So you notice how now the container size has changed. So what's actually happening is the two expanded widgets here will add their flex and become four. And so your screen will be divided into one, two, three, four. And then the first expanded widget takes a flex of one, and that will be for only one section. And then the next expanded widget takes a flex of three, and that will be for the remaining three sections. Remember that we are still in this stack. And then in the stack, we said the stack takes a list of children. And then we have taken this flex as one of the children of this stack. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some other children widgets in this stack so that we'll see what a stack actually does. So I'm gonna change the flex property of the second expanded widget to one so that you all take the same space on the screen. Right now I'm gonna put a card widget card here. The card is going to take a child list view. So you can see we have this expanded widget with the two at the background, but then we've stuck this list view on top of this thing again. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some padding around the list view so that we'll see that there's actually something behind this widget. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is to wrap this card widget in a padding. Then the padding takes padding, and then the child. So I'm going to take this card widget from here and put it in the child of this padding. So I'm going to say add insert from left top right bottom. 
on the right i want to do same 50.0 on the top i want to do 100.0 and then on the bottom i want to make it 20.0 so let's really do this you can see how i have this card here so i can see that my pattern is somehow too much i'm going to reduce it to 40 here 40 here i'm gonna go to 60 here so you can see i have this background with this card put on top of the background and then this at least we can add some more stuff so i'm going to make the children in my list view column with children row i'm going to put a circular avatar here for the child text okay so you can see how my widgets have been pushed to the top left corner of the list view so i want to center it and i'm going to use the center property of this row widget main as its alignment main as its alignment dot center and this pushes it to the center of my list view so i'm going to increase the size of my circular avatar so as to accommodate my name the circular avatar has a radius property and i'm going to use 50.0 so you can see how now we have this so i'm going to put the size box on top of my row I'm going to say size box with a height 50.0 and then this. Okay, so right now I'm going to put other containers to fill the available space to show you that we can still scroll in the list view. So I'm going to go down where this ends, down this row. Then I'm going to put a container with a height and weight color and the height I want to give it uh, 250 zero and the weight uh, 2000 and the color I'm going to give this colors dot green you can see how we have this container right under the circular button so i'm gonna do this like i did separate them here i'm gonna copy this size box and use it to space this and that so i'm going to duplicate this container some more times to show you that we can actually scroll i'm gonna copy this see and i go here Paste. Okay, and I'm going to change the colors. This will be black, and this will be indigo. Okay, so we have our stack widget with two expanded widgets inside, then a little stack on top of it, and then now. We can still scroll in our list view. Okay. So that will be it for this tutorial. So in this video, we've been able to learn how to use the stack widget and expanded widget. And that will be it for this video. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.